Working from home is awesome. I get to wake up, put on my pajamas, go downstairs and make my coffee, and then head to work, which is only five seconds away, on my computer. Fortunately, nowadays there are a ton of jobs that will pay you really good money to work from home. And many of these jobs don't even require that you have a college degree. And in this video, I found 15 of these jobs, the highest paying jobs that you can do from home without a college degree. And some of these jobs even have the potential to make you more money than the President of the United States. First up is caption writing for Caption Call. Now, although this is not the highest paying job on the list, I wanted to include it on this list because from all the research I've done, it's one of the least stressful and easiest jobs you can do from the comfort of your home. So Caption Call is a company that helps people with hearing loss communicate over the phone. And so what you would be doing as a Caption Call captioning agent is transcribing telephone conversations so that the person with hearing loss can read what their caller is saying. From the research that I've done from people who do this job for a living, dictation software is used to automatically transcribe the conversations for you. And so really the only thing that you have to do as the agent is just fix minor issues within the dictation. The job Job requires virtually zero communication on your part, just some basic typing skills. To get started, just go to captioncall.com, click on careers, and then captioning agent, and then apply. As a caption writer for Caption Call, you can expect to earn between $12 and $25 per hour, or about $18 per hour on average. It's a very easy job, but definitely the lowest paying on this list, therefore I'm giving it a 1 out of 10 on the salary scale. Shift Smart lets you easily earn money, and you can work as much or as little as you want. Now, although this isn't a typical nine to five career and some of the jobs that you do with this company may not be work from home, it's a really good place to look for anybody who's desperate for work. So Shift Smart is essentially a marketplace that connects you to companies to do various work in multiple industries. To get started, you simply download the app and you submit your job application and then you complete the onboarding process and then you choose your shifts, build your desired schedule and you start earning. It may not become a long-term career for you, but it's a good place to look if you're in need of work. You can earn money quickly and gain new job skills in the process, which you can then carry with you over into other jobs, many of which we'll go over in today's video. Now, in terms of how much money you can make with Shift Smart, it really depends on the types of jobs that you're doing. Now, from the research that I've done, you can make anywhere from $15,000 per year to as much as $141,000 per year, depending on what you're doing. But there really isn't an average income for this job because there's so many different fields that you can work in. And so, again, not bad, but definitely not the best on the list, and so I'm going to give it a one out of 10 on the salary scale. Data entry is a perfect job for any introverts who want to stay at home but still make money. Your job is simple. Use a keyboard to input data from various sources into a computer. The job has virtually zero requirements with the exception of you being a good typer and most data entry jobs are remote, meaning that you can work wherever you want. And if you aren't a good typer, you can easily teach yourself how to become a better typer using free websites like typing.com. This website teaches you to become a better typer using standard tests and lessons, but also games. Most data entry jobs will pay you between $17,000 and $61,000 per year with a median salary of about $30,000. Definitely not bad for staying at home all day, listening to music and typing. I'm giving it a 2 out of 10 on the salary scale. Arguably one of the most common work from home jobs that can still pay good money is customer service. Literally every single company in the world needs customer service and there's an infinite amount of customer service jobs out there in virtually every industry and with some of the best companies in the world. You can find customer service jobs in medical, hospitality, logistics, tech, finance, and dozens of other industries. A quick search of remote customer service jobs on Indeed pulls up a list of jobs from companies like Amazon, Capital One, and over 1,100 other customer service jobs. Customer service reps will typically earn between $27,000 and $129,000 per year, depending on your industry and depending on how much experience you have, but the average median salary for this job is about $35,000. A little bit higher than the last job on the list, but definitely nothing compared to some of the later jobs. I'm giving it a 2 out of 10 on the salary scale. Accounting clerks work in the finance department of a company, and they're responsible for assisting with general accounting tasks. Most accounting clerk jobs that you'll find will be work from home jobs that don't require any college degree, just a high school diploma or GED, and some type of accounting experience, which of course you can learn online for free. For example, this 5 hour long accounting YouTube video by accounting 
accounting stuff, we'll teach you everything you need to know from start to finish about accounting to get started. But generally speaking, this job's gonna earn you between $32,000 and $162,000 per year, with the average accounting clerk earning about $38,000 per year from the comfort of their home. If you're somebody who enjoys working with numbers, then this job could be a really good fit. But we still have 10 more jobs to go, and the salaries are gonna continue to increase, and so I'm gonna give this one a three out of 10 on the salary scale. Now, similar to data entry, but not quite the same, is medical coding. A medical or clinical coder is essentially just a translator. Your job is to review patient files and translate everything in that file into universal codes that's then used by insurance companies. It's the medical coder's responsibility to make sure that the right code is used every single time to ensure the insurance companies are being billed properly. The job does not typically require a college degree, it's not very stressful, and it requires very little communication on your part, which means you can do it from the comfort of your home, in your pajamas, while listening to music. The pay range for this job is typically between $24,000 and $74,000 per year, with the average medical coder in the US earning about $40,000 per year. Head over to job sites like Monster, ZipRecruiter, and Indeed, search for the word medical coder, add the word remote to the end, and start applying. It's that easy. I'm giving medical coding a 3 out of 10 on the salary scale. Bookkeeping is the recording, storing, retrieving, and analyzing of financial documents within a company. As a bookkeeper, your primary job is going to be to provide accurate, up-to-date financial information about a business. This includes things like recording company receipts, paying suppliers, monitoring accounts receivable, and providing financial reports. And while all of this might sound a little scary, it can easily be taught, and most companies will only require that you have a high school diploma to do the job. Now, while bookkeeping is not traditionally a work-from-home job, with the rise of accounting software like QuickBooks and after the recent pandemic, many companies are now hiring remote bookkeepers who can work from home and still get paid a good salary. The pay range for most bookkeepers is going to be between $25,000 and $73,000 with a median salary of about $45,000 per year for most bookkeepers. Not bad. Bookkeeping is a 4 out of 10 on the salary scale. Do you enjoy helping people find jobs, find employment? If so, then a recruiting coordinator may be a good fit that pays a good salary. So as a recruiting coordinator, your primary job is to manage the recruiting process for a company or staffing agency. Depending on your employer, they may have you post jobs, conduct background checks, and create a pipeline of leads for specific jobs. Now the job is going to require that you have good people skills because you're going to be doing a lot of talking to other people. The good news though is that most companies do not require that recruiting coordinators have a college degree. Just a high school diploma or GED is perfectly fine. And the pay is also pretty good. On average, you'll earn between $30,000 and $85,000 per year with the average income for this job sitting at about $54,000. Not too bad. I'll give it a 5 out of 10 on the salary scale. Becoming a transcriptionist can be a really great job if you enjoy being quick, accurate, and efficient while meeting deadlines. The job of a transcriptionist is very simple. You transcribe or type out videos, voice recordings, and live audio files into text format. The job will require that you be a professional typist that can produce highly accurate transcriptions. Now, while sites like Transcribe Me can pay you between $15 and $22 per hour, becoming a transcriptionist for an actual company will typically pay you a lot higher. On average, you'll earn between $22,000 and $116,000 per year, with the national average salary sitting at about $58,500 per year. Definitely a tedious job, but depending on who you are, you may enjoy this kind of work, and the salary is not half bad. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 on the salary scale. An executive assistant is a professional who's responsible for managing the schedules and communication for the executives within a company. Executive assistants do things like manage calendars, emails, phone calls, travel, and even the personal lives of executives. The job will typically require that you have experience in Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Word, and Excel. And you'll likely need to have very strong organizational, communication, and interpersonal skills. But a quick search of remote executive assistant jobs on Indeed pulls up high-paying jobs from Amazon as well as other very firms and organizations. Executive assistants will earn between $25,000 and $205,000 per year with an average salary here in the U.S. of about $63,000 per year. Definitely a worthwhile job if you're really good at organizing other people's lives. I'll give this one a 6 out of 10 on the salary scale. Social media is the new norm and there are thousands of different ways that you can make money while using it. And one of those ways is by becoming a social media manager. Your primary job as a social media manager is to develop strategies to increase a company's online awareness. Now, there's no such thing yet as a bachelor's in social media. However, because social media can present massive opportunities,
communities, companies are willing to pay somebody pretty good money to manage their social media presence for them. This job is a very low barrier of entry job that will pay you anywhere from $24,000 on the low end to as much as $175,000 per year on the high end. But the median salary for this job sits at about $63,000 per year. $63,000 per year just for using social media? That's an easy seven out of 10 on the salary scale. You've heard of customer support before, but have you ever heard of customer success? A customer success manager is basically somebody who acts as a mentor to a business's customers. As a CSM, your main job is to build relationships with customers by ensuring that everything runs smoothly after a purchase. If a customer has questions, they can contact you directly and you'll work with them directly to help resolve any pressing issues. More and more companies have started hiring entire customer success teams because they realize how critical it is for their business's continued growth. Customer success managers will typically earn between $44,000 and $150,000 per year with a median salary of close to $69,000 per year. That sounds like a success to me. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 on the salary scale. If you've been watching my videos for some time now, then you'll know that before going full-time on YouTube, I was a web developer. A web developer is somebody who develops websites, if that wasn't obvious enough. But what's probably not so obvious is all the different ways that you can go about developing a website. Now you could go the route of learning how to code an entire website from scratch using various coding languages like PHP, Python, JavaScript, or Ruby, and you can learn all these languages for free using websites like Google and YouTube, or you could do what I did and use a content management system like WordPress and build websites using a page builder plugin such as Elementor, which requires zero coding knowledge and anybody can learn how to do it. Now, although I did eventually learn how to code HTML, CSS, and PHP, when I was first getting started, I knew nothing about those things. And I was still able to make a really good income and build my clientele by using websites like Upwork. Or if you don't want to do freelance work, many companies such as design agencies hire web developers full time. And you can also easily check websites like Monster and Indeed for these jobs. And many of them will be work from home. As a web developer, you can earn anywhere from $54,000 per year to as much as $321,000 with the average web developer earning about $70,000 dollars per year from the comfort of their home. This is an easy 8 out of 10 on the salary scale in my books. No patience to learn how to build websites? No problem. You can still become a project manager and potentially earn even more money. During my freelancing career, I got to work with dozens of different project managers and so I know exactly what the job entails. And I can tell you from firsthand experience that it's literally a job that anybody can do, especially if you enjoy managing and organizing other people. As a project manager, your primary job is going to be to to, well, manage projects. Could these names get any more obvious? You do this by organizing, planning, and executing projects and leading the work of a team to achieve all the project's goals within a given constraint. You'll typically earn between $52,000 and $242,000 per year with a median salary of about $77,000. And if things couldn't get any better, nowadays, most project management jobs are probably gonna be work from home. This job managed to make it to number two on the list, therefore, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 on the salary scale. Freelance writers have the potential to earn a lot of money. And no, you don't have to have a fancy bachelor's degree in English or creative writing to do it. Freelance writers can work in a variety of ways. You can either work full time and write for a publisher or a company, or you could go the freelance route and potentially make even more money by building your own clientele using websites like Upwork and Fiverr. One such example of this is a freelance ghostwriter on Fiverr who makes about $387,000 per year, almost as much as the president of the United States and you don't even have to live in the White House. And although this might seem a little bit unreachable to a lot of people, it's something that anybody can do. It's just going to require a little bit of work on your part to become a better writer. Now, on average, writers can earn anywhere from $34,000 per year to as much as $320,000 per year with the average writer earning about $80,000 per year in their pajamas. And of course, this one deserves a 10 out of 10 on the salary scale. Now, if you're not satisfied yet and you want more ways to make money online, click this video right here. And if you have not already dropped a like down below for the YT Algo or subscribe to the channel, please do both those things. You guys are amazing. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.